Hello and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge. It is the 28th of October and it's Space Halloween. Happy Space Halloween, everyone. We got like a full week of it. Yay. Um, It's also Challenge Saturday. And we are stealing three parts of the Rubicon prototype while going as fast as possible. While we are doing that, we are dying. We have Technophobe, boo, weak, oh boy, silenced, oh joy. <laughs> that is not a good set of traits for going fast, but we will do our best. Uh, we have a quiet, actually silenced, armor-piercing shotgun. That's nice to have. A self-charging crash beam, but only three uses of it total, and a single visitor. Let's see how we do. All right, we've got guards with heat sensors and random kits. All right, light reinforcements and autopilot. Don't care too much about the alarm. It could make a difference. But if we do set off the alarm, we can trade oh, we can trade a crash beam for eh, auto zoom, auto zoom. Are you gonna are you gonna cooperate? Alright, auto zoom's not cooperating. We can trade one use of the crash beam for the defender's gun, which uh, might be useful. This is a super shotgun. So probably not going to go out of my way for that, please. Okay, later in three seconds, but we did get three seconds. Um, this is like this is an annoying key to just have to walk down this hall while we've got a guard shooting at me, unless I use a crash beam. I guess I technically could also walk around and use a visitor, but that's. I think the visitor has uses later. Um, all right, a lot of walking on this one. I really don't want to use the crash beam here, but we'll see. Yeah, already at four seconds. All right. Nope, I... I assumed that as a shotgun it would be fine. Um, it was not fine. So I guess I'll start throwing things. I can dodge your- you have a shotgun. I didn't notice that until right now. Okay, that's actually bad. That might be deserving of a crash beam. Ugh. Okay, what are my options? So, I can't dodge your shotgun from this range. So I can either try and visit and hope that this gives me something good, that's incredibly risky. Or I can crash you. Whether or not I crash you... I need to walk up to dodge you because mine's on cooldown, alright. Alright. Don't like to see it, but gotta crash you. And we've got a... Hope that you... Well, oh, hope that I don't get shot here. Oh, concussive gun. Neat. Okay, you took the bullet. Which means 
I can take this. There we go. All right. Let's actually make sure we can hit you this time. And there we go. Yeah, I would have had to use a crash beam regardless. But I did lose a little bit of time having to back off and have them eat the bullet. Riveting gameplay right here. Look at him go. Oh, there's something I forgot to do. Oh, crash beam, nice. There's a little trick to space Halloween that you can take advantage of. Probably doesn't actually matter today. Let's see, we don't have... I want to be a little careful with my bullets of the armor piercing one. Got a wrench, but can't use it. All right, just these two left. And then silence. Yeah, shotgun, shotgun. All right, walk up here. Let's see, we got a crash beam before. It's nice to have. That makes me feel a lot better about using a crash beam. Uh, it is a challenge Saturday, so I cannot use the steel item. It's silent, but the windows are still active. God, 30 seconds already. Well, at least I'm not close to, I wasn't close to a 10 second break point for the speed challenge. That's nice. Okay. It would hurt. If I was just a, like a second or two away from getting under 30 seconds and lost a bit of score due to my slight mix up at the beginning, but it's fine. All right, drop it off. And next we have heat sensors and emergency shields, light reinforcements. All right. I'm hesitant to do this, but it's technically useful. So I'm going to do it. So technically dying really doesn't matter at all today because it is space Halloween because it is space Halloween I'll get there I'll get there I'll get there you can't die and now I'm a skeleton look at me Yay! So, being not able to die has its benefits. First off, you can't die. That's pretty cool. Second off, if you're just a pile of bones, it came in that a little hot. Uh, you no longer give off heat. Because you're you don't have flesh to be warm and stuff. And so you no longer trigger heat sensors from guards. Might not be relevant here, but it's a thing and it could be relevant. 
Um, all right, so. We could, I was gonna say we could maybe visit to get this key, but uh, well, mm, could maybe visit to get that key, but that's a little sketch. One, two, that's doable. I think that's doable. Um, alternatively, if we go down here, we get a key. This key's not too far out of the way, and that gives us a crate. Where's the key in this room? Right here. Okay, that gives us another couple crates. All right, I'm liking it going down. Yeah. Let's uh, stock up the pod a little bit. Don't see any explosive people, so I'll leave the concussive weapon behind. I'll leave this behind, and I'll leave the visitor behind so that we can pick up plenty of things. I'll keep the shotgun. Okay, I want to make sure I get them first before they put up any shields. Very nice. Oh, you were nice enough to come to me. We'll do super shotgun and then also aim for you just to doubly make sure. Let's see, if the alarm goes off, which it probably will here, we get people coming in from there, and that seems fine to me. I'm surprised that they don't see that. Must be just outside of their range. A swapper, extreme range swapper. Not gonna use that here, but that is good. Where'd the key? Here, the key. All right. So then we give you a little shot. And we give you a little shot because you got stuff. More visitor. Very nice. A long blade. That's not useful. It's not very often that we get long blades from crates, I think. Feels like concussion hammers are much more common. Yeah, I'll shoot you for completion of this room. Key cloner, very nice. Um, yeah, I'll just shoot you. Don't want to... I don't take damage, but I still don't want to be knocked out and tossed out a window. Um, all right, we'll replace the gun. I want to try something. And that something... Let's see. We're at 26 seconds right now. That's going to be too slow. To do this under 30, I think. Yeah, definitely. Definitely too slow. All right. And shoot you. Shoot you just in case you've got something. And so that I don't get shot. Did you drop anything? Don't think so. All right, remote control. Doop, doop. Get it. Set. Okay. So what I'm going to try and do is give us an opportunity to use this long blade. 
This is slightly risky. This is very risky. But we're gonna drop it down. And then shoot out this window. And then the idea... Oh, we can't pick it up because we're outside the ship. Darn. So the idea is it gains momentum because it's being flung out, but I pick it up now, and then later, on the next ship, I can drop it down on the floor, and then I have a single-use armored, uh, armor-destroying weapon. But because I had the glitch where it immediately moves me outside the ship, I can no longer pick things up on the ship. I could redock and then try and do that, but that seems like a waste of time. All right, 31 seconds. If I'd known I was gonna be that close, I would have considered using the swapper to just save a couple seconds. But I think the swapper is gonna save much more time on ship three anyways. All right, we've got... Oh, and it would have been... Could have been relevant to take out a guard. Oh, wait, we've got the gun. We've got we've got the shotgun. That's fine. We're fine. We're fine. Heavy reinforcements, tracker, jammer, lots of guards. Okay. Okay, we got a locked door here. We've got a very, very large chance of getting in with the Swapper or the Key Cloner, so definitely going there. It's a pretty small room. Okay. Yes, that's a decent swap. Any other good swaps? This is not any better. That's okay. That's a tracker that I don't want to deal with. I can crash them, that's fine. Um, one, two. Does this go down two rooms? One, two, and some. So, in theory... Yeah, that's pretty close. That's pretty close whether or not I can clone that key. I've got visitors. I've got visitors. I don't need to clone keys. We'll be fine. All right, so I'm not seeing any swapper that's super needed. You go over here. This key is annoying to get to. But we could ignore it. If we had bash dash. We could definitely ignore it and do a visit, steal, visit, get over here. All right, so this is the this is the biggest case for not using the swapper immediately. So we could remote. Oh, I know I can just steal that. Nah, I'm dumb. We're fine. We can do this. All right, yeah. Swap. Steal. Shoot. More shoot. I was like, where's their key? Where's their key? I picked it up. I picked it up already. All right, this is a little awkward. But we're just going to have to dodge some bullets. 
That's all fine. Do I go for this crate? I don't need it. But it's right there. I'll go for it. Ah, not worth it. Okay, they moved. That's perfect. Thank you. I appreciate that. I don't appreciate you, and I now uh, I appreciate these crash beams. Look at that spread. All right. No, I guess I can take you out. Okay, what speed things do I have? We got two visitors. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna go down here, visit, visit. Yeah, that makes the most sense. Alright, can I clear out? I don't need to actually clear out everyone. Oh, I wish I had gotten one of those two. We'll shoot. Oh, this is awkward. We got more shotguns over here, I suppose. All right, restock on that. All right, carnage. Absolute carnage from this skeleton. Alright, so we'll walk down here. Get the pod in place. Can this be done in under 20 seconds? It's looking pretty doable. Just gotta get pod right here and stop and then visit nab this and visit there we go and that's definitely would have taken more than 15 seconds and more than 16 seconds if I hadn't swapped so that's fine That was a good use of the swapper to save. All right, let's leave. Just double checking, I've got the thing. And there we go, 18 seconds, very nice. All right. Yay, all right, let's drop it off and let's see how we have done so far. The clause penalties, yep, that's all understandable. Um, ooh, 7-2 beat me by nine seconds or so. Very nice, very nice. All right, curious what 7-2 did different. Whether they went for different crates. I did go for a few crates. Some of them were kind of helpful. Some of them may be less so. Oh well, yeah, curious to see 7-2's run. Uh, very nice job. Nine seconds is a good improvement. And with that, oh, we should look at yesterday's first. Yesterday, uh, we came in first with a minute and 16 seconds. This is a different, this normally doesn't have this background, right? It's normally space. That's why things look so different. Weird. That is weird. Um, yesterday I had a minute and 16 seconds with 596 for first place. Yay, yay, yay. We have DD Shock Trooper coming in second, not far behind. We have Cassandra in third, 7-2 in fourth, and Lee Spork in fifth place, making up the top five. Good job, everybody. And with that, that is all for today's 
Saturday challenge and beginning of space Halloween. Being a skeleton didn't actually matter, but it's the thought that counts, I guess. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you tomorrow.